Number 85. A certain sample of bacteria doubles in number every hour. If there are 24 counts of bacteria in the sample, how many bacteria will there be after 7 hours? So go ahead and take a minute, see if you can get the answer. Pause the video and try this problem. Once you finish, play the video and see if you have the right answer. Now, we have 24 counts of bacteria. After one hour, it's going to double to 48. After another hour, or after a total of two hours, that's going to double to 96. And we could keep this going. So what we have here is basically a geometric sequence. The common ratio is 2 because to get the second term, you need to multiply the first term by 2. Now, the general formula for a geometric sequence, if you want to find the nth term, it's a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the n. a sub 1 is the first term, 24. The common ratio, or you could think of it as the growth rate, is 2 because the number of bacteria is doubling every hour. Now, our goal is to calculate the seventh term. But if you want to write a general equation for the number of bacteria, you could say that b is equal to 24 times 2 raised to the t, where t would be the time in hours. So the seventh term will be 24 times 2 raised to the 7. So basically, we need to multiply 24 by 2 7 times. 24 times 2 to the 7th is going to be 3,072. So that's going to be the number of bacteria in this problem. So answer choice B is the correct answer. So this type of process can be used to solve any type of exponential growth problem or population growth problem. So you want to make sure you understand the principles behind how this equation works. Now, here is another similar problem. Number 86, the number of mosquitoes on an island is currently 1,500. If this number triples every four hours, what will be the number of mosquitoes after one day? Well, let's begin by writing a formula. So let's start with the geometric sequence formula. A sub n is equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to the n power. But we're going to modify this equation. So we're going to replace a sub n with m, which represents the number of mosquitoes. The initial amount, or a sub 1, is 1,500. Now the growth rate, we can see that the number of mosquitoes triples. So the growth rate is going to be 3. Now what about n? We can't simply say that. We can't simply replace n with t because it doesn't triple every hour. Instead, it triples every four hours. So this is going to be t over 4. Because if you replace t with 4, you get 4 over 4, which is 1, and thus you'll be multiplying 1,500 by 3. So let me give you of a... Hold on. Wow, I said that wrong. I just mixed up my words. But let me give you another example. Let's say if we had 800 mosquitoes, and let's say it quadruples every five hours. The way you would design the equation, it would be something like this. M would equal 800, that's the initial amount. It quadruples, so the growth rate is 4, and it does so every five hours. So we're going to raise it to t over 5. And so that's how you could solve problems like this. That's how you could set up the equation which will help you to get the answer. Now let's go ahead and finish this problem. So using this formula, let's replace t with, what do you think we should replace t with? Now we want to calculate the number of mosquitoes after one day. How many hours are in a day? We know that one day is equal to 24 hours. 
we want the unit or we want t to be in hours because it triples every four hours. So we don't want to plug in one day for t. So it's going to be 24 divided by 4. And this makes sense because if the number of mosquitoes triples every four hours, it's going to triple six times in the 24 hour period. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So this is going to be 1500 times 3 to the 6th power. And that's going to be 1,093,500. So that's going to be the number of mosquitoes on this island after one day if, if it can continue to triple every four hours.